Hello, and I want to welcome everyone to this short webinar on the power of real-time analytics in retail. My name is Gary Nakanalua, and I am a Managing Director with Blueprint Technologies. Now, a little bit about Blueprint. We are a nationwide technology company that really focuses on connecting strategy and execution to really create solutions that drive digital transformation within an enterprise. Now, a little bit of background in the scenario for this webinar. In the retail clothing market, retailers often purchase clothing from a brand manufacturer where the agreement typically includes a buyback clause. Now this clause essentially stipulates that if the merchandise doesn't sell, then the manufacturer has to repurchase it. In turn, this overstock is subsequently often sold off to off-price retailers such as TJ Maxx at a substantial discount. So for clothing retailers that are also brand manufacturers such as The Gap, the excess inventory is heavily discounted in their brick and mortar locations over time. Now if you consider a scenario where a large clothing retailer is looking to transform its brick and mortar overstock tactics into more of a hybrid commerce strategy. So one idea they had was to actually offer the overstock as a limited time offer where the price is automatically optimized according to purchase popularity. So as more people bought an item, the transaction price would reduce for everyone within the offer period. Now, at first the idea was being evaluated as an initiative to integrate into their existing e-commerce solution. However, to, to mitigate the risk and cost associated with such an action, the decision was made to run a two-week experiment that would result in a functional proof of concept that then would be used to measure the effectiveness of the idea within a single 12-hour period. So after considering the solution and their approach, um, because Microsoft Azure was their primary cloud provider, they opted to go with an architecture that was based upon a number of Azure services. Azure App Service was going to be used for the web application, and then Azure Databricks would be used to build a pricing optimization model. Now, due to the intended speed of the experiment, data from the POC could not be integrated into the existing enterprise data warehouse within an acceptable time frame. So as a result, transactional data from the POC would be stored in Azure Postgres. Now we could take a look at kind of a modified version of the web app. So here you can see that there are a few items that are, um, that are being offered and the price has been discounted. So if I go in and I say, yes, I want this, and for the sake of this webinar, we've kind of shortcutted the, the checkout process and kind of move that to the side. So here you can say, cool, you got one, awesome. So got a great price. And then as more and more people purchase this item, where I purchased it for $28.99, as more people opt to purchase it, that price will drop. And subsequently for me, the price will be uh, dropped as well. Now, that pricing optimization model, it wasn't just about adjusting the price as more people made a purchase. There were other factors such as historical transactions, uh, current inventory, seasonality, and even purchase timing. And all of these would be incorporated into the model. But this actually presented an unforeseen challenge. So depending upon the learnings from this experiment, the organization intended to run a pilot of the initiative during a very particular shopping season. So as a result, the POC had a short time frame to be completed. So a small team was put together very quickly and, um, and they took off to start building the POC. Now, although that web application that you saw or a variation of it was put together very quickly, the uh, pricing optimization model was proving to be far more complicated than initially expected. So the immediate availability of additional resources was limited and the time frame for the POC to go live could not be adjusted. So um, a short-term alternative 
for the pricing optimization model was needed and so in order to keep the initiative on track and to give the data science teams um, additional time to complete the model for use in the pilot. So considering that short 12-hour shopping period the POC would operate within, um, an alternative for that automatic pricing optimization model was simply to have people manually adjust the pricing of the offers according to real-time recommendations by a group of, of their seasoned analysts. Now, with the proper access to purchase data and inventory counts, the analyst could then provide real-time recommendations for POC product pricing. Now, in this scenario, the analysts were utilizing Power BI for reporting and dashboard activities. So then it came down um, in order to enable real-time connectivity to the POC transactional data, as well as the ability to combine regional inventory data from multiple data sources, it was recommended um, to put in Conduit, which is a lightweight data virtualization product, and incorporate that into the solution. So to show you all, this is a look at a very simplified version of that dashboard. So here in this particular case, you're seeing uh, total orders is at 40. Um, and then it spreads it out across all these different areas. So if we take a look and we refresh, what you'll see is that the order that I did previously is actually going to come through and so now we are at 41 and then if I go back and I decide to buy these pants awesome and I go back and I refresh now you'll see that there were 42 orders and the number of toddler pants went up as well in addition to that, um, their regional data was being stored in various locations depending upon the actual warehouse itself. So again, here's a very simplified version where this particular region is used storing all of its inventory data inside of Azure Blob Storage. And so we're taking that in and we're merging it in. And then when it comes to the all regional data, there is data that exists within Azure and within Amazon S3. So thanks to Conduit in this scenario, not only are we able to get real-time information as the orders are being processed, but also combine data from multiple data sources in order to empower um, the individuals that are responsible for the pricing during the POC and give them insight into where the inventory is at and when the deal should actually end. So. A little bit about the results. So again, the analysts were able to leverage those capabilities of Conduit to really build you know, a, a pretty um, significant number of dashboards that enable those pricing decisions. And so rather than having to invest heavily in an unproven concept, the retailer, through the use of Azure services and Conduit, the retailer was able to experiment and validate the idea very, very quickly. And once the pilot is complete and moved into production, the retailer will be able to sell through overstock inventory faster and repurpose more of that clearance space it currently has in its brick and mortar locations into more seasonal displays. So that is a very high level overview of a scenario of when real-time analytics can really help drive transformation within a company. So at this time, I'm happy to answer any questions you have.